Hey guys, Blaziken Blitz here, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. And today, we're gonna mess around with our, uh, with our monster deck a little bit here. Because we just got a couple of new monsters in the last episode, and even though I could do all this off-screen, eh, I feel like, I, I just kinda wanna show it to you guys, why not, you know? Um... Do I need this many Droll Birds? I don't need this many Wicked Dragons, I don't, uh, I'd say. So, let's get rid of one of those. Oh, yeah, they already go in my... Oh, yeah, because I already, um... Because I fused two Harpy Lays in that last episode, two, so two slots were open. That's actually really convenient. All right. So, in this episode, we're not going to be doing any fusing, because freaking, um, Petite Dragon got destroyed, and Misaki was, like, four experience away from leveling up, so that's wonderful. So, we're going to be taking on Yami Merrick this week, uh, th not this week, today. <laughs> oh, my English is bad, it's almost three in the morning here, and I don't know why I've decided to record... Ugh. But, um, I love this game, so it's no big problem, really. <laughs> Greetings, Pharaoh. Merrick. Yeah. Merrick? No, I'm something much more exciting. Oh, yeah? It's time to duel against shadows and darkness. <laughs> okay. Capsule Monsters Champion? The title? <laughs> I care nothing about the title. Except, you're the only one that doesn't, apparently. I want is simple. I want everything. I want the world in my clutches. But what I want most is your defeat as you rot in the Shadow Realm. You've lost your mind. I will stop you. No matter what it costs. <laughs> then let's duel, Pharaoh. I'm just trying to think. This would be have to be like a really specific time frame for Yugi to know who Odeon is, but not know who Yami Merrick is. Like, it'd have to be right after Joey's battle with Odeon, but before um before the battle with Yami Merrick. You want to attack first in this place, by the way. There's... Both sides are exactly the same. It just... The gimmick requires people to move. Um, but yeah, it would have to be in between Joey's battle with Odeon and, um... I think it was Seto's battle with Yami Merrick. Which is a very short time frame, honestly. So uh, I guess we know when this took place, I guess. Um, so we're not going to be leveling up a whole lot of monsters that are important to this match. So we can kind yeah, of just bring some monsters we haven't seen in a while. Um, we're going to be bringing Masaki at least because he still needs one more level up. Um, let's bring another Flame Manipulator because we haven't had one of those in a while. Um, we haven't seen Dancing Elf or Mo Molten Behemoth yet, so we can show those off. Uh, we haven't shown off Sky Dragon yet. Um, I don't need someone as expensive as you. Will you work? I don't think you... No, you're not going to work. Okay. So we can use you... Let's not use a flame manipulator, and let's use something vastly cheaper now, why don't we? Um, we haven't seen fire grass in a while. No, 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 we haven't used one of these very much. So let's use one of those, and uh, we'll bring Kazajin this time, too. Did I bring all wind monsters? I don't... I hope I didn't, but at the same time, it's like, whatever. Oh, no, I brought at least one fire monster. I brought two. I don't remember what I bring anymore. Alright, let's do this.
It's time to start. All right. So let's summon the cheaper monsters. Get those out of the way. Do, 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 do. Do. I don't use Dancing Elf very often because of that very low PP and very low attack stat, as you can see. But, uh, hey, whatever, man. I gotta show it off. Can I summon anything else? I can summon... I can summon you. Plus you give a lot of plus AP, so that's helpful. And as you can see, uh... He's a wind attribute, and he has a bunch of fire and wind monsters, which are very helpful for our cause. Do, 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 do. I don't remember if he has anything specifically unique, though. I don't think he does. I don't know what's causing this place to have lag over other places, but, uh... Honestly, I'm not going to complain here. I did enough complaining in the last episode. Honestly. So I'm just gonna take whatever comes. So, I'm going to move a piece early just to show off the gimmick. Every time a piece is moved on one side, the tile on the other side drops down and it's an acid bog down there, pretty much. So, it severely limits the spaces that your opponent has. Oh yeah, he has that um, wind dragon, wing dragon guardian of the, of the fortress that we don't get to see otherwise. As we can check over here. Yeah, he has number two. Uh, that's not anything new. That's not anything new, but we still haven't put the first one in there, so... We still haven't used it yet. I might just keep Masaki back because um, I don't want him to die and all of a sudden like everything fall apart again. You can move over here. What's your range? Oh, you have quite the range. Maybe that's why you're so bad otherwise. <laughs> I'll move Masaki forward for now just because I can. And it severely limits the tiles that uh, Merrick has. I mean, why not at that point? See, look at all that. Bunch of tiles dropped. I think secretly the Shadow Realm is just a giant laggy realm. That's why everyone hates it. And that's why this place is lagging a bit, because it's filled with the Shadow realm -y stuff. Yeah, we'll go with that. I believe that Thunder Dragon is unique. As in, you don't get to see it from an opponent otherwise. But uh, I think if you're a Thunder, if you're Thunder, you can buy it. Uh, before I do that, 
You have a diagonal range. You have a diagonal range. One, two, one, two, yeah. Neither of you are going to be able to get me here. I can move that spot down. I can move this spot down. I can move this spot down. So much spot carnage. I'm going to move you back to where you were now that you can't move another spot down. And I guess that'll be it for now. Alright, Merrick, make your moves. Right into the acid. You go right into the acid, too. You as well. You're just going to move a whole bunch, because that's what you do. As you can see, 50 damage per turn in there. That's a lot of damage for a stage hazard. So you best be wary. And these aren't type specific either. So any monster will get hurt for 50 damage inside those bog. Those bog spaces. And it is not fun. One, two, three. Yeah, you're going to hit me if I do that. But uh, you only have 133 attack. And... You can't hit me there, so you know what? I'm just going to deal with it. Actually, if Elfie here can kill you, that would be even better. Well, no, it wouldn't be better because it would get hit by a blast juggler anyway. So let's just kill you now. Boom, you're gone. Deal with it. That was your first, but it will definitely not be your last. Of course. <laughs> Celebrate now! Because I guarantee you will not be celebrating later. Fair enough, I suppose. If that is how you feel, I shall not uh, ruin your daydreams, Yami Eric. Am I safe there? Because if you move... Yeah, I'm not safe there. So I'm just going to move one space, one space forward. How about that? I think that sounds fun. And then I can move you one space forward. And... What's your range again? I never remember your range. Oh, you move three and attack two, but that pillar's in the way, so I can just kind of move you here. No, no, I can't, because Glass Juggler would hit you if I did. All right, well, first of all, no, don't do that again. Second of all, I'm just going to end the turn now.
Did you? Did you really? I wasn't aware. I knew something would have to get hit. That wasn't that bad, all things considered. Alright, let's continue here. You are going to attack that, yep. Oh, you're going to attack that, okay. Well, either way, it really didn't do that much damage, so I'm not threatened. You're going to move forward. You're going to move forward more into the acid bog. So you're going to get hit for 50 again. You're going to get hit for 50 again and brought below half. Why, yes it is. Um, how do I want to approach this, though? That's my question. if I do that, it's going to get attacked from all sides, practically. I can, however, attack you from here, and that's, that's good. And it's a level up. That's pretty cool. Let's move you out of the way. And attack you with you. You go down. Boom. Um, yeah, you're one space away from doing anything significant to him. I think you're all set there. I hope you're all set there. And that'll be the end of my turn. Yeah, Yami Merrick, funnily enough, is one of the more benign opponents in Area 4. And considering his personality, that's really something. You're taking 50 damage. You're almost dead. It really surprises me how long he keeps his monsters in that acid bog if he actually wants to win. Okay, so... I'm going to... attack you here. kill you off gone gone and you want to level up so you can have it yeah 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 you have your old 
spiel, that's cool and all. We can move you forward, take you out. Destruction. I always like a little bit of destruction, I'd say. Um, I believe I can just move you forward without too big of an issue. Actually, let's let's make sure I can kill this Megasonic Eye first. All right, that's gone. Now I can move you forward. You have 339 PP, so it's not that big of a deal if you get attacked by him, because he kind of dies in this acid bog if he stays, so... Otherwise, he attacks my Molten Behemoth here and then just gets killed next turn, so... Which it looks like that's exactly what he's gonna do. I am not threatened by this at all, really. As you can see. And yeah, my, um... My Masaki gets hit by the Acid Bog there, but that's not a big deal because all I need to do is just attack it for 19 HP, or 19 PP, which is not that hard, and it'll go down. And down it goes. This will finish you. Yes, it will. Alright, go away. <laughs> Toodaloo. Will you? I guess we'll just have to see about that now, won't we? Laggy victory pose! Woo! I win. Yup. I'll let you have this round, Pharaoh, but next time, I'll destroy you until you're nothing more than a memory. Foreshadowing? I say that's foreshadowing. And that is a level up. Awesome. Alright, so now that's over. Give some more experience. And we got a symbol level up. Um Let's put two more in base AP, and then some in PP, because really, I would like to be able to take one hit. Um, One-Eyed Shield Dragon's leveling up, and that's always cool. Now, what do we want from him? We want the, um, the Winged Dragon Guardian in the Fortress, because we don't have any of those. Um, we basically have our choice between twin Twin-Headed Behemoth, Megasonic Eye, and Blast Juggler. And, um, let's just take a Megasonic Eye. I haven't used one yet. It's cool to have two. They're, they're good, um, high MP minions, really. They come with a lot of attack power, so that's always cool. Um, I'm going to change my monster deck this time before I end the episode, because I think this is going to be the last episode of the session. And, um, I want to make sure that I don't have to forget about what monsters I'm not taking, what monsters I have, what I don't have. I like to be able to know what I'm doing here. So, I don't care if I'm adding a, um, a fire monster. I'm getting rid of a droll bird. They're unnecessary at this point. Um, but first we gotta add the wind dra winged dragon. 
Um, I think we've established we don't use these mechanical snails very often. So let us go and get ourselves fire monsters. Let's get a Megasonic Eye. Um, I don't like Dancing Elf that much, so let's get ourselves another Megasonic Eye in its place. I really don't need another Droll Bird. Is there anything I can replace it with? Um, yeah, let's grab this Cherub in the Fire Knight. That's cool. And I have some Droll Birds now, but I don't... They're not, like, like five to my deck. Because that's really what I don't need in life. Actually, I shouldn't have quit out there without saving. Of course I did. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> you can tell I'm tired. Let's go back into the entrance hall and save. Saving. Now loading even more, loading screens, always fantastic. Just what I want in every one of my games. Back to Area 4. Next time, Yami Bakura for the finale of Area 4. See you guys then.